They're so champions here at the GIT, the toughest one day tournament in Ohio. But you know, I'm a marketer, I'm a, I'm a guy, I'm a promoter. I'm going to the Sandusky Bay tournament. That's the league I was in. Yeah. Ian was in. I got a nephew yeah. in it now, yeah. right? Two nephews in it now. But um, O'Carver's in it. I might have to start stealing because that's 20 teams. Well, oh, how, how many are here? 16. 16. Yeah. So maybe I'll steal that. Yeah. Will that make you mad? No, it won't be. Mad. No. But we're going to still call this. It was the toughest one-day yeah. tournament in Ohio. It was a great tournament. We got a lot of – Mr. Brandenburg does a lot with that, Coach G, and a lot of people – get this pull this together it's really really great people your community is like just an amazing community yeah. right you guys yeah. come together you celebrate the state championship team you're yeah. on it was a 2010 team right 2010 yep so 2010 team you're on the team um you guys knocked off st ed's and yep. the greatest state tournament i've ever been to yeah it was fun it came down to gordon yeah. pinning mark martin didn't it yep and oh. then tab got the takedown and overtime to kind of seal the deal that's uh, so crazy yeah. cool so i mean awesome all our alumni were in today from you know a huge range of years and it, we had a reunion last night and just it, our, our wrestling family is awesome we just full of so many great people and parents and our administration just it's just a tight-knit group and it's fun that they're all here supporting our, our team now so great community here in wadsworth ohio i interviewed a guy at oacs um and he just like literally said exactly what i thought he was going to say he's like a you know 12 and under football coach and he's like oh yeah all my friends that I went to high school with, I coach all their kids now. And I was yeah. like, that's what I would picture <laughs> yeah. Wadsworth being yeah. like, right? It's awesome. So a lot awesome. of people stuck around now. Yeah. And, and it's not, I don't think it's a knock either. No, no. I mean, we're lucky. Our, you know, Brad's still around. Um, Christian Boffin's still around. Um, all our alumni here today, Timmy Nipple's still around. I mean, it's, it's this room's always full of our alumni. They always come back any opportunity they get to, to be in the room and to, wrestle with our guys it's just it's just an awesome culture and that was built by coach g and we just keep it going okay i think i came into the kent state wrestling room one day and i think you might have wrestled into the airdyne bikes yeah which yeah. which one show me the scars that that one right there above your eye yeah i got one above my oh, eye one up yeah. here i got three or four scars some missing teeth from that i think i was wrestling ian honestly <laughs> But you're so tough and gritty is yeah. the whole entire point, yeah. right? Like, yeah, just, you wrestle a guy like that, you're, you're pretty outmatched. Yeah, right. But, like, you're scrapping. Yeah. You're, you're going yeah, into the it. bikes. And it's, it's kind of it. like the lunchbox mentality here yeah. at Wadsworth. Where does yeah. that come from? No, I mean, that's just that's how I was growing up through G. It's just just to be tough. love the grind. And that's what we're teaching our guys. Enjoy the process of, of it all and the grind every day. And go out there and, and grind with whoever you got. And I think Messer did that tonight. It's a tough kid. And... He loves it. I mean, he loved that match. He loves to grind. Obviously, he would want to win, but, you know, Dom going out in the finals and getting that pin, he, he loves it. He loves to compete. loves to, to go through the grind. So All the guys, all the yeah, Wadsworth guys I saw it. compete tonight were just, like, yeah. ready to go. Yeah, they're, Whether they won or lost. Even the 160 was probably the – 145 was my favorite match yeah. of the night because the guy who did all the attacking, like, tuckered himself out, and yeah. the other guy caught him in a big move. And yeah. That's wrestling, and right, I like that. Right, right. But then at 160, that was just, like – Going. Overtime, yeah. the ride outs, and your guy's a Merkler. Yeah, he loves it. Yeah. Oh, Clay, have you ever been caught in a Merkel? Be honest with me, from him. From him? No, I won't, <laughs> I won't let him. But there, are, some of our college guys will come in and he'll he'll put it on. He, he's it's. I know it's coming, but they'll come in a room and they don't know, and he'll get them. So he he loves it. He's getting dominated in the first period, and that changes the match. Mm -hmm. He could have won the match. Yeah. Then in overtime, he's scoring points. Yeah. I thought he had another one where it was like a one and a one and a half count, no, right? There at the end, a Merkel in overtime. Uh, yeah, I was thinking we were going to get that, but he competed. You know, he competed. We're, he's getting there. I mean, he wasn't even at the state tournament last year. He went through a, a, a surgery. Blew his shoulder out, district's match to go, and he didn't get to go last year. So the training he's put in, and he's just hungry. He loves it. He loves to compete, and he's our captain and a great kid. What do you guys got to do to max out the amount of qualifiers to, to Columbus for you? Maybe even get there in the state duels, whatever it is. And I know that duels are very important to this mm -hmm. community and you, but yeah. what do you got to do to max out, maybe compete for that dual title? Mm -hmm. Then, you know, you turn around the next month, it's, it's championship season, sectional yep. district state. Yep. What do you got to do to get as many people there and, and, and maximize your, your dual results? Just We just got to keep grinding, keep getting better. We are, we are, you know, we had some, you know, we didn't win North Kent. We got third there. And, you know, we've taken some lumps actually through the year. We lost to Edison in a duel a couple weeks ago. But our guys keep believing. They keep grinding. And that's what we got to do. We got to keep getting better. And I think we, we showed that today. So we just got to keep the ball rolling for the next couple months. Tons of parity in Division One right now. It could yeah. be Brexville. It yeah. could be 
Illyria, it could be ads. I was at ads today, and they, had, you know, they had a team that didn't look like the normal ads teams of old. But you know, there's stuff going on there. There's stuff going on in every program, injuries, whatever it is. It's there. The opportunity's yeah, there. It is. You yeah. could take a silver. You could take a gold. You, yep. you know, you guys could pull a rabbit out of a hat. Yeah, I, I believe it. We, they believe it. And as long as they do, I, I, you know, they know they can do it. They're working to do it. That's our goal. And, you know, it's just uh, worrying about ourselves, worrying about what we have to do to get better each week. And, and as long as we do that, I think it will take care of itself in, in March. Sal came to the Super Duel today, and, and I think this is indicative. This isn't a knock on LaSalle. This is LaSalle only had three guys today. Only three guys showed up to the to the super duel, super quad duel with, with Wyoming Seminary, Blair and St. Edward. Everybody's got problems right yeah. now, right? Like yeah, yeah. everybody's got the, you know, I mean, yeah. nobody cares though. Yeah, no, they don't. You know, and, you know, we got, we have some guys we have to get healthy, but like you said, no one cares. So we got to get better every day and whoever's in that spot's got to be ready to compete and grind. And that's what our guys are doing. So we're just going to keep the ball rolling and. We're excited for the next couple of months. Do we got anybody over in the bullpen waiting to be interviewed or are we good? Don Laparo. Don Laparo. With the big fall tonight. Big fall tonight. All right, hey, no. you got anything else for me? No, thanks. How many Dad. kids now? I think two. Two girls. Two girls? Two girls. Consequent Three. like just it's just a coincidence. Coincidentally. Yeah. I have two boys. I know. I can't get a boy, I guess. Maybe, no. Maybe one more guy. And then your boy Stevie Metchev. Yeah. He's, he's got girls two girls. Too. I know. So we can do arranged marriages, whatever you need to do. We can get it taken care of. You don't want the two-year-old. You don't want my Thomas kid, though. He's a real piece of work. You might be beating him up. I don't know. You would be. I'd come over, and you'd be punching his teeth out of his face. All right, hey, thanks for the time. Go Grizzlies. Keep grinding, buddy. Appreciate it. Thanks, Seth.